Hi, I'm Pace Webb. Welcome to Tis the Season. Today, it's all about how to be the perfect host and how not to be that guy. Hey! Hey! Joining us today is Lisa Gachet of Beverly Hills Manors. Thank you, and thank you so much for having me here today. What are some good gift ideas and what are some do's and don'ts? What we want to stay away from and what happens sometimes is the re-gift. At least take the time to make sure that the card that was given to you has been removed. You know, you cleared away every trace of a previous owner. What do you recommend if a guest brings more guests that are uninvited? This is Michael and Mitch. That's Mitch's girlfriend. Uh, Andy and I went to elementary school and that is someone we met on the street. Have you met Todd? Todd's in my fight club. Again, this is something that happens and as a gracious hostess, something that you always have to plan for. Welcome everybody. So it's keeping the smile on your face. It's not going into a look of terror and panic. How do you avoid the awkward greeting moments? Hey, oh. oh. <laughs> it's really just just kind of picking up on those subtleties and figuring out uh, how to approach someone. Hey! Hi. And then we have the kiss, which a lot of people misconstrue exactly what the kiss is all about. It's supposed to be an air kiss. So when you lean in for a kiss, it's right cheek to right cheek, and you blow your kiss into the air that way. It's a little bit offensive, I find, when someone you know, avoids kissing or hugging or handshaking because they're sick. <laughs> if you're not feeling well, you shouldn't even go to the party. But if you're gonna be there, be there wholeheartedly. What is your opinion on using your cell phone at a party? Well, I'm a big fan of checking your tech at the door. What? I'm at a party. I'm at a party right now. The whole point of parties, especially at holiday time, is to connect, right? To be with other people. So I think if we have this, it's a distraction. The other thing we have to stay away from is the posting of any pictures. Whatever it is, you do not post pictures. If you want to take a nice picture, I would certainly ask permission to do so. There are definitely taboo subjects, right? We don't want to launch into anything related to politics, religion, or money. So if I sell you guys products and you sell products to your friends, we all make a profit. As hostess, you, you almost have to be, you know, as you know, just navigating the space and being aware if you need to jump in, almost parental-like, and deflect the situation. So I, I didn't, it never even scabbed up. It just uh, healed straight on the skin. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. There's a lot of people with food issues, whether it be a dietary restriction, a religious reason for not eating something. So if you have a large party, I suggest that there are options to accommodate everyone. I know I show up to a party and I'm usually hungry. Yeah, you could just tilt it up. There we go. Okay. I always advise to have a little snack beforehand so that you're not famished. Thanks. Now how about exiting the party? So the last thing you want to do is destroy the tone and the fun times happening at a party by going up to the host or hostess and announcing your departure. I'm leaving! <laughs> Out of here. There's something called the French leave, just literally slipping out the door. And it's not rude, it's actually polite because what happens is once someone sees a person exit the party, it sets off a little bit of a domino effect. Yeah! If you slip out, you absolutely must follow up with some type of nice thank you and a, a sign of appreciation. Thank you so much for coming, Lisa. I'm Pace Webb. Thank you for watching Tis the Season on Yahoo Shine.